All right, people, I'm back again. I was reading from Ecclesiastes and just talking to you. Like To me, I believe words influence and help people. You understand? Ain't nothing better than a conversation. You know what's wrong with the world this day and age? People can't converse anymore. You know, back in my day, I'm an 80s baby. And I'm glad I was born in the 80s. Nothing against y'all millennials. Y'all got y'all way. But one thing I'm going to tell you, one thing y'all lack is right now. Verbal communication. There's not many of y'all that can stand and hold conversations. Y'all read a text or do this and that. And then when you get face to face, you're like this. Don't know what to say. Don't even know how to react because you didn't put on this persona. You didn't did yourself up. And then call somebody FaceTime when you're looking at your best. You understand? <laughs> but conversation. If you think about the, the apostles' walk, what did it involve? The word. It involves speaking to people, talking to people, being a friend to many, yet being hated by many at the same time. You understand? Walk and talk. Walk the walk and talk the talk. You understand? Does that mean you're going to do everything right? No. That means God is going to grow you. He's going to purge you. He's going to build you. He's going to take away everything from you that you don't need. And replace it with things that you do need. He's going to balance you out. If you ain't realized the word of God is a lot about balance. A lot about balance. For God to perfect you the way he wants you to be. People always say God created me. I am who I say I am. But the thing is. He want to create you even a better person than what you think. You understand? You know. People love to say they was born this way. All right. I got to go to it today. Because I fear for them. You know, a lot of LGBT people, they said it was born this way. So you mean to tell me you was born with a pencil or mascara as a man and a wig to put on your head? You was born that way, huh? You was born. Well, I just gave you an example. Who can make straight? Well, God has made crooked. Maybe you was born crooked in a perverse generation to change, to be changed by God. I can use that and turn it to a sermon. And I hope you get it. You may be correct. God might have had you come out the womb crooked. But the thing is, come out the womb crooked got a lot to do with a choice unless you got a birth defect but there's some women that grow beards that's a birth defect now you can say I was born this way but giving yourself hormones and injecting yourself making you transform that's not how you were born I don't care what you say that's how you want to be that's how, not how you were born you understand you see, people are trying to reach you. The devil wants you to think something's wrong with you. How is the devil doing that? If the, if the devil can get in your head and be like, you know you're supposed to be a woman. You know you're supposed to be a man. And you start believing that, he's the author of confusion. You're going to take that lie and spread it. You're going to start spreading it to a lot of people. And God said, whoever loves and makes a lie is not of him. They're going to start loving the way they are. Well, they go back to scripture. I would give them over to their own imaginations. How do you know that's their wicked imagination? Well, they look in the mirror. And they see something that they don't like. So they recreate it. And how God created them. They put makeup on. Eyeliner. Lipstick. I'm talking about to the men. that act like the women. 
and they put a wig on, they put a dress on. They make themselves something they're not. And that's a lie. And then they walk through these streets dressed as something they're not. Confusing other people. And we're supposed to be okay with a lie. That's wisdom. I don't care what you say. You can make it look like I'm lying to you or I'm just being hateful. No, that's wisdom. You understand? Take Batman and Vigilantes and Supermans and all these people. They wear capes because they don't know more nobody to know their true identity. Why? So they can lie to you. You see, Jesus never came denying who he was. He came telling you who he was. He didn't lie. That's a real superhero. Be who you are. The one that God called you to be. And if you if you feel any crookedness inside your body, guess what? Call on the Lord and he will straighten you out. That's the catch to who can make straight what God has made crooked, he can. So don't let the word convince you to manipulate your body or manipulate yourself to be something that you are not. You know, I hate that movement, but I don't hate the people. I love them, but they're hard to reach. So for a, for a time, I just step back. I love them. I show I love them. I ain't got time to keep ministering to them the same thing, but I'm not going to hate them either. That's wisdom. Love people. He said, love will conquer a multitude, cover a multitude of sins. But that don't mean love the sin. Does that make sense to you? I hope it does. Have a blessed day, people. If you want wisdom, ask God to give it to you. You know, if God was to put me in a pool pit, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of afraid because it's certain, not afraid, not for real. It's just, it's a lot of things I want to touch base on that I feel God wants me to touch base on. And a lot of things are going to rub people the wrong way. But let me put it this way, people. I'm going to stay true to that word. By the glory of God, I'm going to stay true to that word. I don't care. You understand? Because the truth is what's going to set people free. If these church members and these churches that's running around here keep lying to folks, they're going to stay in bondage. Have a blessed day.